Manna du sole, che bello ne, Sebastiano, stai fronte a te. O sole, o sole mio, stai fronte a te. Hi, I'm Sebastian. This is our product, Sebastiano Gourmet and Corning Seasoning Mix. It's an all-natural, low-sodium product that's exceptionally tasteful. Uh, I think we'll start demonstrating our breaded pork chops for you. How's that? And first, you in the kitchen, you always remember to organize yourself nicely so it's not a frustrating experience. You want to enjoy it because you will enjoy the meal, of course, once it's completed. Uh, to coat any product, my strong recommendation would be to start with a flour, an egg wash that I'll show you how to do real quick, and of course, our coating and seasoning mix. Let's, uh, for a few pork chops, let's start with perhaps one or two eggs, huh? Let's pack your egg. You can add too many plates here. It's not a difficult thing to do. You can have your husband or person in your life help you. It's a fun experience to cook. It doesn't take long at all. Let's try the garlic uh, gourmet coating and seasoning mix. I. You could use the pour, but I, I don't like to waste too much time. Just pour a little bit on a plate. I'm using the plates that perhaps you would normally use rather than kitchen uh, utensils, uh, so it gives you the flair of cooking at home for yourself. Of course, any meat that you saute, unless it's a great thick filet mignon that you sear on the outside, again with our coating, I would recommend um, that you cut off the fat and, which is not difficult. And of course, once the fat is removed, a little pounding is always a wonderful experience. Watch your fingers. You can pound the hell of it if you want. Don't worry about the bowl, just pound it. Once it's pounded, you just go through the procedure. Again, whether it's chicken breast, chicken breast should be pounded also. Uh, veal, again, you have to pound. Pork chops, a little flour, egg wash. No way about putting your fingers in there. You're going to eat it anyway. And you know where your hand's been, right? You have to have a little fun. This is very easy to do. You coat it. Flip it a few times, see? It's done. Oh, now I know why the extra place. Again, very little goes a long way. Pounded, a little flour, not difficult. Some egg wash. And what does it take? A whole two minutes to do? Come on. I'd love you to come to our restaurant and eat, but you could save a lot of money cooking at home. And it's not a difficult thing. Now, you're ready to saute. Today we're going to feature a few items that I think you'll enjoy. A surprise is, of course, uh, the breaded pork chop you're, you're going to love, but we're going to saute romaine lettuce for you. you know, sometimes you have lettuce in the refrigerator, you say, geez, I'm not going to eat it. Uh, and I'm tired of salads, so we'll show you how to saute lettuce. Very easy procedure. We're going to have sauteed uh, Tuscany uh, rosemary uh, potatoes uh, with, of course, uh, our gourmet coating Tuscan seasoning mix. And it's a very simple procedure. Again, you put it in the microwave uh, like you would a baked potato. Take it out perhaps a minute before. I just went through the process where it's still a bit firm. Huh? And you cut it, put it in a saute pan. Uh, once it gets a bit golden, not much, you sprinkle some of our product on there and it'll give you a wonderful flavor. We'll go to the stove in a minute. Thank you. Sebastian, stay from the day. You know, I love that song. It's an old immigrant song. I'll tell you about it sometime. Okay, we're at the stove, huh? We're going to saute our breaded pork chops with uh, 
our Sebastian coating and seasoning, all natural, low sodium. We're going to cut some uh, romaine lettuce and the microwave potato. We're going to saute it, huh? all with Sebastiano products. Let's start off with a touch of oil in the pan. It's always very helpful. Remember, it's a gourmet product. You don't need much oil. But if the oil is warm, hot enough, when you place uh, the pork chop in the oil, it won't saturate the meat. It'll give it a wonderful flavor. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it, as long as you don't cook with too much butter, don't be afraid of the oil. That's all I can say. So we're going to do three items at once. If your kitchen can handle uh, three pans on the stove. This is for the salty romaine. Again, just a touch of oil in the pan. Doesn't have to be a lot. I like to start off with a high flame, but I recommend once the oil gets a bit warm, to lower your flame to low or medium. Now the romaine, it's an easy, wonderful dish. Uh, to use for your family or friends. You know, many times you have lettuce in the refrigerator, it's getting a touch wilted. Doesn't mean it's bad. Just take it sauteed instead of spinach. A lot of people don't like spinach. I find that sauteed uh, romaine is a wonderful surprise, especially when you tell people it's sauteed romaine. The oil is warm, you lower your heat just a bit. Nice. Take a bread of pork chop. When you hear that sizzle, you know it's great. We have a sizzle a little bit. We take our microwave potato and we cut it. I say microwave because you want it to cook just a little bit. You don't want to wait for the potato to cook. It takes forever. And you place it in your pan. Allow it to get a bit golden with the oil. This is a very, very fast process. The whole process will probably take you not more than eight to ten minutes to do. So don't think it's a laboring uh, situation. Now, the time to turn your pork chop over is when the ends get a bit golden. Uh, you may want to shake your pan a little bit. If it doesn't move, you just want to help it a little bit with your pork. And you flip it, see how wonderfully golden the product is? Don't worry about that oil, that's all going away. Actually, for the lettuce, I would recommend flipping the romaine with a tongue. I usually say thong, people get confused. I'm a confused guy anyway. But that's, you know, where I got my education on the beach with all those thongs that drove me crazy. Remember, the way to anybody's heart is with good food. Now, see how quick that pork chop cooked? We flipped it again, it's beautifully golden. Now, I know you're not going to be prepared to eat right away, so I recommend preheating your oven perhaps 200, just enough to keep your food warm until you're ready uh, to enjoy it. So, you shut off your gas, you place, if you have this type of pan, you place it in the oven. If not, use a plate that's uh, oven proof. are ready for Sebastiano's coating and seasoning mix, but I have to slow down just a bit and wait for the romaine. I forgot to turn the flame up. There you go. You want to use, uh, let's do the garlic and let's do, you know what's wonderful? Let's do the Venetian curry. Wow, that's going to be great. Let's do the Venetian curry. See how wonderful it is? You get a uh, a flash of uh, genius and you change uh, the flavor right away. You surprise people. It's the story of my life. What do you mean? Okay. We're 
going to use the curry, Sebastiano curry for the potatoes. You really don't need much, quite frankly. That's probably too much. It's almost ready. And we'll do the Italian garlic for the salty romaine. I know I was going to do the Tuscan, but it's okay. A lot of people think because it's curry, it's not Italian. Everything is Italian. My mother's Italian. Wow, these are going to be fantastic. I'll show you the gourmet uh, potatoes, curry potatoes. And don't worry about the grease. Just pour it off. It's not really grease, it's just juices, flavors that you really don't need. And we're going to keep this warm as well. The sauteed spinach is almost ready to come off. Now when it takes this wilted look, it's when the product is ready. And believe me, you're going to love it. This will go in the oven as well. Now you have at least 15, 20 minutes to relax, pour a glass of wine, say hello to your friends, and give the person in your life a big hug, nice. And I'm going to leave you to your pleasure while I finish my song. Manado sole che bello ne, o sole mio, stai from the team. Sebastiano, Sebastiano, Sebastiano. It's a beautiful product. Now remember what I recommend in the kitchen. After you prepare your food, you keep it warm in a warm oven, not a hot oven, until you're ready to eat. Usually with our type of meals, you can easily wait it out for about 15 or 20 minutes. What can you do in 20 minutes? I only need two or three to do what I <laughs> love to do, and that's to pour a glass of wine, look at my beautiful wife, and say, baby, this meal is just for us. Well, thank you very much, Sebastian. It's quite all right. It looks delicious. Tell me, what do we have here? Okay, what we have is uh, our Tuscan rosemary breaded pork chops, pounded thin. Remember I said you pound the hell out of it. I'm sorry. Uh, we, did, we changed the recipe for the potatoes at the last minute, and you can do that with our wonderful product. Remember, we have seven wonderful original flavors. Okay, so we decided to go with the curry potatoes mm. and our garlic sautéed romaine. Romaine. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to move it here, and I'm going to taste this delightful. Are you going to eat some? Wonderful, sure. Okay. I'll tell you, Sebastian and I have been together seven years. I hate to tell everyone, but... It has put a little weight on me, but it's really, really worth it. And I think that, you know, these days, everybody thinks that, you know, you have to watch everything you eat. The thing is, is that eating is romantic. Eating is essential to life. And if you are going to eat, you might as well eat something delicious. Right, Sebastian? Mm -hmm. Isn't that how you feel? Absolutely. If you're going to make love to someone, it would be very nice. <laughs> anyway. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Okay, I'm going to bite, so now you talk. Sure. Uh, remember, we sauteed the pork chop mm. for what? A minute, a minute and a half. Once it, gets, once it arrives to its golden color, you know it's done. Unless the pork chop is so thick, then you'll probably have to just make it golden, put it in a pan, in the oven at 275 for a few minutes. But quite frankly, you don't need all that meat. Our, our coating is so wonderful, mm. you eat less meat, and you'll have a <coughs> wonderful, wonderful flavor. The potatoes are delicious. Thanks. Very no good. salt. I use no salt whatsoever. That is, I've told you before, uh, that that is the greatest thing about our seasoning mix, because it's low in sodium, and they're so flavorful, you don't need to add anything else. And bon appetito till bon we appetit. meet again. <laughs>